he was very relaxed as well. He didn't cry a lot when he came out, um, which I think is quite normal with home births as the babies are more relaxed as well. Each one of these babies were born at home. I just thought it was a great idea to come away from the clinical environment and to be at home doing something that's so special. Brought into the world by this group of midwives, put together six months ago by Leicester's hospitals to offer mums to be more choice to have their babies at home. We've gone from sort of all babies being born at home to the medicalisation of childbirth and now recent research has shown that it is for low risk pregnancies, um, it is as safe at home to have your baby um, as it is in hospital. Three years ago, the health watchdog NICE recommended the practice for low-risk pregnancies and particularly second-time mums. Its research suggests the risk of interventions such as assisted and caesarean births is much lower, as is the risk of infection. You often find that they're a lot more comfortable at home. Um, there's um, more chance, increased chance of um, actually achieving a normal birth without intervention. Though home births have always been offered through community midwifery, the take-up is fairly low. Around 2% of women in the UK have had a home birth. In Leicestershire last year, that figure was closer to 1.5%. The hope is this new service will change that. And in just six months, it's already matched the national figures and likely to exceed them by the end of the year. Louise plans to have her third baby at home. It'll be her second home birth after her first son was born in hospital. I just felt a little bit more concerned. It was obviously much more medical. There was much more um, sort of monitoring of me and it, I, I didn't feel at ease. Whereas with, with having that control at home, I just felt much more relaxed. And um, I think things progressed more steadily rather than um, it just felt a little rushed in hospital in a way. So we're hoping to have the baby um, in the kitchen. Um, so I've hired a birthing pool, um, which we'll set up here, which is really convenient um, because we've got the hard floor, which we can cover. Um, and then um, we've got the kitchen um, on hand so that I can um, get a drink or something to eat if needs be. And there'll also be plenty of room for the midwives to set up. And it's nice because you'll be able to have sort of your, your family and your boys with you as well. That's it, yeah. My husband will be here and the boys can be around if they're uh, behaving. But things don't always go according to plan. Kind of in the back of your mind thinking, oh, how do we prevent that? How does, does that not happen? Um, but, you know, things happen and, and it did. Baby Alfie was born in hospital after a lengthy two-day labour at home. His parents did opt for a home birth, but it was clear it was no longer best for mum or baby. I was so relieved when they suggested that because I was just really ready to have some help. I think I'd completely run out of steam. The midwives managed to stay with me for the whole of the labour and we delivered Alfie probably about half an hour of being in hospital. So all in all, I had an actually amazing experience and being at home for most of my labour was just amazing. He's sleeping. you tired boy. A month on, we're back to see Louise and see if she got the home birth she hoped for. So this is Dougie. Um, he was born two weeks ago here at home. It was um, very relaxing. I was able to have uh, music on that I wanted um, and we had um, oils burning. So it was a very relaxing environment. We, we obviously had control over the lighting and everything. Um, so um, the boys were here um, and they were playing in the pool to start with. Um, and then um, when it was time for me to get in, I got into the pool um, and that, that was um, a really relaxing experience for me and for, for Dougie when he was born to be born in the water. Dougie's one of almost 130 babies born at home in Leicestershire since the service launched. The Department of Health say it's about offering choice. The team say better birth experiences can only be a positive thing for the whole family. You know, it's a really, really important and, and um, special time in a family's life and we're trying to improve that experience for everyone involved. Nancy Cole, ITV News, Leicester.